What is up, guys? All right, we're back because, well, honestly, it's just I, I just want to fly this again. I literally, I'm, I'm here every day. I literally fly every single day. I don't know, do I fly more than anyone on Earth? <laughs> but this is, uh, you know, th this thing is ready to go. I just haven't gotten around to um, to getting the, the files uh, just named and, and finished up. But, um, oh, you know what? I never checked the CG. Ooh. Ooh, the CG is rearward. That is definitely rearward. A little bit too far for my liking. It's off the... It's off the bumps. Um, let me just bring it just a tad forward here. Wait a minute. Oh no. Oh no, my can my magnet, the glue came off the magnet. Wow, that was a sign. That was a sign. I was gonna lose that. Um, okay, not a big deal. Not a big deal. This is why I come prepared. Always have uh Always have a little bit of tape on hand, a little bit of Gorilla Tape. Stuff stays sticky forever. Uh, and glue your magnets uh, better than I do. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, so we are gonna just do some more flights. I just wanna uh, rip around a little bit, enjoy this thing because uh, I just absolutely love flying it. It's so much fun. Uh, we got wind going this way. So this is where we're, the way we're going to take off and the way we're going to land. So easy to throw, guys. Not a lot of wind today. I would say, uh, I don't know, 10 mile an hour or so. feels good the humidity blew out the birds are, ch are chasing they are chasing me because they know the eagle is here the f-15 eagle is on the property guys i love it there's something really 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 special about this Throttle. <laughs> I was looking at the other jet. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm making the birds go crazy. I, I'm not actually sure what's happening right now. Uh, what, what kind of? What's a bird expert? Ornithologist? What? It, I'm not really sure what that. What? What it is. Um, but I'm not a bird expert. Um, I actually did take a bird a bird class in college. I had to. Uh, one of my electives. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, they're going crazy. I'm just gonna fly and enjoy the F-15 Eagle. Look at this guy. <laughs> Look at how crazy these birds are going. I really hope I don't hit one. I hope they're smart enough to get out of the way. Uh, am I giving them too much credit, guys? So anyway, this 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 is this is ready to go, guys. There's nothing to do. Um, the file's perfect. It went together absolutely perfect. The only thing I had to do is I had to I had to trim like two millimeters off of the EDF cover to get um, the wires and stuff to to fit around. And uh, yeah, that's it. This thing is so sick. So sick. It, it feels like if, if the factory model was like perfect. <laughs> if, a, if there was a factory model that was perfect. As far as a fighter jet, um, 
Something tells me like the, the Schmiggen and the Delta and the Mini Delta Fighter are my two favorite like just fun because the Schmiggen can high alpha all day long and and just like and and just do really stupid stuff and flip around and stuff. This this can do everything like a fighter jet can do. So this is like probably one of my favorite fighters. This this is the F-18 I would say. Here comes the wind. Look at that wind. Stall it out. Yep, just drops the nose. I actually didn't drop a wing. I just totally stalled it. And then uh and it was good. Good to go. Alright, this is my uh my approach um test. Really windy up there. It's getting wind sheared and buffeted it around. Alright, ready? Bring it in. Oh. It took a little bit of a wing a wing uh drop right there because I was a little crosswind. Okay. This thing is so good. It's so good. It's just so much fun to fly. Um I can't say enough about this guy it's just like i don't even know i'm trying not to overdo my descriptions because i don't want you guys to think i'm i'm gushing too much but anyway okay let's uh let's change out the battery real quick let's try and do this quickly because battery changes are probably boring for you guys so let's do it quick. Ooh, I almost put that in, not fully plugged in. That would have been bad. All right, let's see. All right, it's good. Get the, get the Gorilla Tape on, That's, that held fine. I've learned a few things, guys. <laughs> having having a little gorilla tape on your on your case, it's 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 invaluable because you're bound to have a magnet pop off or something. Something's gonna happen. You need a little gorilla tape for the canopy. I found that gorilla tape over um, over rubber bands because it's uh, it's aerodynamic. Hold on one sec. Let me. Let me push this down a little bit because I saw it was sticking up on the side. Okay, all right, let's go again. Let's have another fun flight. There we go. <laughs> rear view, the rear view of the F-15 is so iconic. Those two totally uh, vertical fins, so cool. I don't know why, I'm not gonna keep stuff secret. Um, I actually just started working. Ooh, the wind, holy up there. Um, I started working on, I am gonna be redesigning the F-22 for a number of reasons. Um, the original 64 millimeter F-22 that I designed was absolutely fantastic. And I haven't flown one in about six months. And my buddy Chris at Flight Fest brought his and um, look at these birds, look at the birds. Um, he brought his at Flight Fest and he wanted me to fly it. And so he threw it and I flew it and I don't like flying other people's planes, but that thing was so locked in guys that my F-22 is an absolutely amazing flying model, but um, it has to, it takes a little while to, to build it because it's got, um, it's got uh, carbon rods or carbon tubes, six millimeter carbon tubes uh, going through the uh, the back of the plane. It's a really simple design and it's very elegant and it works perfect. But um, but you got to print you got to print some control horns, uh, can just basically a bunch of hardware. You print some hardware, you glue it onto the carbon rod, and uh, and it it does the the full flying tails. The downside to that is you break a tail. Uh, you got a lot of rebuilding to do. So with my new full flying tail system, uh, I'm like, th th this is the way that this has to be from now on. 
this is the way I'm going to be doing it. So, um, go straight out here. Um, so I am going to build a twin 40. I know you guys are probably getting sick of this, but it's going to be free. So if you guys already bought my F22 64 millimeter, you are going to get a free, I almost lost orientation. Um, you're going to get a free new one, uh, because this is how I'm going to roll. If I've already made this plane, you're going to get a brand new one for free. So anybody that has already purchased a F2264, you're going to get the twin 40 and it's going to be, it's going to be about the size of the F18, maybe slightly larger, uh, by an inch or two, uh, width wise. Uh, I just, what I basically, I just started the, um, the discovery process where, um, where I'm measuring out how big I want it to be. I have the fans, the servos all in place. And I'm, and I'm just basically like trying to just figure out the, the, the scale of it. Uh, that's really the biggest thing is the scale. Um, because it all, you live and you die by how much material you have to print and how much material is going to go get thrown up in the air. So, um, so yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be a full flying tail F22. Um, I am going to make sure that they don't dig in like, like my other three models. Uh, I don't want the tails digging in to the ground when you're belly landing. Cause that's no fun. Nice slow flight here. Climb out. Look at the climb. This is why this, this scale is so important because if you want it to climb out good and you want it to be a good hand launch model, you need to, uh, you need to spend a lot of time on the, uh, on the planning process. So I'm in the planning process right now. I actually did do the center part of the fuselage and I'm starting the, uh, the main intake sections and stuff like that. Um, stall it, see what happens. All right, just flips down and uh, puts his nose down. So I'm gonna do a couple, couple little laps, half throttle. Um, so yeah, F-22 and uh, super excited about it because the F-22 is, in my opinion, it's one of the best RC models. Uh, like the free wing F-22, all, all, all the F-22s are, are really, really good. Um, lifting body, trapezoid, intake, uh, everything about the plane just really lends itself to, to RC really, really well. So um, yeah, I, I'm gonna do it. Um, and I, like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a new design. Like I made two. I made the Eurofighter and the um, and the uh, F-15. But before that, I, I redesigned the F-16. And anybody that bought an original F-16, you're gonna get a Gen 2. So if you decide you want to buy this F-15. Uh, maybe in a year, I'm going to go redesign it with, uh, with twin 64s or something like that. You know, you never know. Not that you can't scale it up. You just need to, uh, you need to think about the servo situation where a nine gram servo is not going to hold up to the forces that a twin 64 weight plane will generate on those tails. So right now with twin forties, gold, single 50 gold. But, um, but anything bigger than that, like a, a twin 50, you might be able to get away with it. But, um, but I am actually going to, I'm thinking of scaling this one up, uh, to a twin 50 just to do it, just to, just to make it bigger. Uh, because this thing is so compact and so lightweight, it's really going to do, do well at the larger scale. So, uh, so like I said, uh, I'm going to probably do a two, a twin 50 and, um, and yeah, I'm, but I'm going to have to find if you guys are, are, are paying attention to, <laughs> and you're paying attention to my ramble, um, you can let me know, uh, what servo you think would is maybe like, maybe like a 15 gram servo or something. Um, that is really stout and beefy that can hold up to the abuse um, uh, a little bit larger just slightly larger servo and just just like beefier just a beefier servo that can that can hang on to uh, the tails thing is so good 
minimum radius. Look at that thing. I was watching, <laughs> I was watching the, uh, um, that new, uh, Boeing, Boeing has a new variant of the F-15. I forget the, the designation. It's like the, uh, I know, I know Qatar and Saudi Arabia, uh, is Q, Q, QC, I, I forget. Um, but it's, it's a, um, it's a new variant of the F-15 where it's fly by wire and the go, go Google the, uh, or, or look on YouTube for the latest air show. It was like 10 days ago or something. And it is one of the best air shows I've ever seen with, um, with the F-15. It is just, it's fascinatingly good. It tail slides. It stays in the, in basically the air show box of the, uh, of the air show. And it doesn't really leave it. It does that. <laughs> it flips around. Um, it's obviously got the full flying tails and it's got tons of thrust. I think they, they managed to get more power out of it. Um, I think they're using the same, the same turbines. I, I, I could be BSing. Um, wow, they're using, I, I don't think they're using the F-18 turbines. I, I have to look it up. But they got more thrust or they got it lighter somehow. And, um, or it's more efficient, whatever. And, uh, and it's unbelievable. It can like, it can just do like the ladder basically where it climbs up, stalls itself. And then, uh, and then, and then like, and then like does negative G's and then it can still climb out of like a stall. It's insane. Like basically the thing gets into a stall hover and then it just starts to accelerate straight up into, into, you know, upwards. So it's, it's, it's unbelievable watching what the thing can do. And I obviously I can't talk and fly at the same time. I try to do my best, but and I had a long day today. I'm pretty tired, so talking and flying is not my thing today. Oh, now the sun's coming out, and I'm gonna blind myself. I can't see a thing. Long loop. Cut the throttle. Sun is right in my eyes, and I'm not wearing sunglasses. Not good. I love that the fans blow backwards when you cut the throttle, and it's that, that funny sound. Straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up, stall. Tail. Thing is, is very efficient. It glides. It glides really, really well. All right, I'm gonna bring this in. We got no wind right now. What perfect conditions, guys. We've had so much humidity lately. Butter. Cool. Okay, I got one more battery to go, I think. Actually, that's how tired I am right now. I can't even, I can't even remember. How many batteries have I flown? Two, three? I have no idea. All I know is, is that my, my, uh, my hat camera is sliding down on my forehead and I'm not sure where you guys are lined up, but I'm doing my best. Okay. This video is probably going to be 20 minutes long because no matter how fast I go, four batteries at about four minutes a shot, plus a little bit of blabbering is, uh, is about 20 minutes. So it takes forever to load on YouTube and to upload, but it's all worth it for you guys. It's all worth it. Because you guys get to... I'm sure you guys love doing this as much as I love doing it. Love watching it too. Alright. Alright, cool. Let me fix the hat. Decided to not go with the sunglasses. I'm gonna just fly out this way and try to not go in the sun.
This is the flight where I'm gonna crash. <laughs> I just have a feeling. I just have some weird feeling that it's gonna happen right now. An awesome plane. This should be fun flying on the beach, guys, I have to say. It's gonna be fun. Ooh, I cannot see with the sun there. I'm gonna just stay over in this air show area over here. Looks good in the sun though. Stall. Totally off throttle here. Float. I did not think this thing was gonna be so floaty for, because I thought that it was gonna be so small, it was gonna be twitchy and hard to fly. I was concerned, I genuinely didn't know. But it is the, anything but that. If anything, it's easier to fly. The smaller something is, the more comfortable you feel in a small space. Cause it gets, um, I don't know, large planes, they're, they're just hard to keep in a small space for some reason. But this thing is like the perfect size. Let's see what the glide can do. I cut it way back there. I could literally come all the way around and it's still not stalling. Oh God, in the sun, I lost it. Oh, I can see it. I literally blinded myself right there, guys. That's not smart because now I see a spot. <laughs> where where the plane is i literally can't I, okay now i can start to see the plane again i was just seeing a black spot because i blinded myself such a amazing plane <clears throat> I know a lot of you guys are hating on me because of my le I, uh, my left hand turns, um, but it's it's more out of comfort, um, and I am a creature of of um, I like predictability. I like I'm a creature of like um, seeing differences and like and and testing, and I know I know how this plane flies from the last time I flew it. And by doing what I'm comfortable doing, I can see if there's any differences. Like I brought the, um, I brought the elevator from 125 uh, rate in my dual rate in Expo down to 105 because I just wanted to go a little tiny bit less. Um, okay, we gotta get in some flat spins, guys. Gotta get some flat spins in. All right, ready? Oh yeah. I'm gonna come out early. Yep, good thing I did. Ooh, that was a little dangerous. A little dangerous. Full speed. All right, um, this thing's almost done. That was a, that was a good picture right there. A good photo pass. <laughs> Let's see if we can get another good photo pass here in the sun. Oh, yes. Oh, that's low. That was really low. All right, guys, I'm gonna bring it in. I'm gonna cut this video right as soon as I land it. Perfect. That's it. That's all there is to it, guys. All right, thank you so much for watching. This plane will be available either tonight or tomorrow, uh, depending on how much time I have. Uh, but definitely tomorrow I'll have it, whether it's tomorrow morning, tomorrow night, I have no idea. But um, again, uh, thank you for watching the video. Thank you for watching my channel. And anyone that buys it, thank you so much.